Okay, uh, today I'm going to show you how to paint roses on the glass uh, pieces like this. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is uh, to make, uh, to paint something like this in the end, yeah, uh, which is quite nice, yeah. Uh, but first, first step, uh, you make sure that there's no water on your brush. You will just want it to be damp. And then we need to use um, also this gloss enamel, which I'm using the uh, Razor Dazzle um, or Razor Berry color. Uh, it's gloss enamel by Deco Art. Okay. Uh, first, you got to base the area where you want to paint. So I'm going to pick up the, the red color and just uh, paint about the size of the other, the other roses. So we just need to baste it like that, okay? And then uh, we dry it. You can use a cold uh, air or also the uh, the hot air. It doesn't matter, but it will get dry. I'm just going to use a cold uh, air. Okay, and then uh, we baste again. When it's dry, you just touch it a bit. And then uh, we are going to base again uh, softly on the area. So you've got a double layer of redness. Okay, make sure you don't put uh, the brush first in the water until you are ready to uh, pick up new colors. Okay, I'm going to use only number two. Okay, we're just going to do a slow dry on it. Okay. Touch it a bit. Okay, it's dry. Okay, now you wash your brush. Okay, and then make sure that you squeeze out the water. It must be dry. Your brush must be uh, not containing any liquid. Except for the paint. Okay, and then I'm going to just take... Uh, I'm going to pick up the red color on the hind side. And then on the tip, it will be white color. And I blend it a bit. Okay, and then I'm going to do the petals on the top first. Okay, like that. Okay, so we start with that first. And then we do the second uh, layer of the flower, which is a bit on the downside. Okay, so I got two layers like that. Okay. And then only we do the cup. Okay. The cup, we will go downwards. And then we take the other one. And we make it like that. So you have two color or single light like that. Okay, and then we do the petals. Okay, and then the petals. Again, we we have to do twice later, but we make sure we have the right uh, 
configuration of the flower, all the petals. Okay, so we have the roses like that and then we dry it a bit first and then we're going to shape up the roses properly. I'm going to do a slow dry. going to take some more uh, the paint and I'm going to run through the top layer so that you have double Otherwise, you won't be able to see it very much because it's quite transparent, you yeah, know, the color. Okay. We can have a bit of a stroke there. So, there you go. All right. Uh, I'm going to dry it and a slow drying. Okay, I'm going to put uh, a bit of purple color in the middle. Okay, this time we're going to uh, clean through the brushes. Okay, and make sure that there's no water on it. And we pick up uh, at the tip uh, some purple, yeah? So you just shade a bit on the pup in the middle. Same thing here. Okay, so we have the purple on the, in the middle. Okay, now I uh, show you how to do the leaves. Okay, same process. Uh, we're gonna use uh, two colors. Where is the avocado? Okay, this is the avocado. So we're gonna use the avocado and also this uh, citron green. So these two colors to make up the uh, leaves. Okay, um, I'm have a new palette and put it here. You must shake the bottle first before you sage so that uh, the color is more vibrant. Okay, again, we have to squeeze out the water. And we pick up avocado on the hind side. The tip will be the citron green. Okay, and then we're going to just do a stroke there. So you can roughly see it very uh, blurry like that but it's okay it's the first layer okay then we're going to do that bottom part and here also Okay, so we have there. 
Okay, and then we do the on to the other side. Same thing. Okay, so we have all these green leaves that we have already painted. Okay, and then uh, we're going to dry it. We have to dry it again. I'm going to use a slow dry, which is actually a uh, cold air. Okay, then we're going to paint the leaf again, the second layer, at the same spot. Then only you can see the leaves that comes up. Okay, like that. Okay, and then the other side, same way. Tip is a uh, citron, and the hind side is the avocado. And you just brushed on. Okay. Onto the layer on the bottom. And then do like that. Okay, then we dry it. Do the slow one. Okay, and then we use a liner brush. Uh, I'm going to use uh, a bit of uh, white color uh, together with citron uh, green to uh, create the vein of the leaves. So you just mix the two colors together white and the citron so you get a very light green and then you just draw the vein okay You got the vein like that. Okay, and then we do the same thing here. Cannot press, we just run through only a bit. Okay, that completes the the leaves. And we're going to draw a bit of the tendril. I'm just going to use a script liner brush. Okay, and use uh, avocado. I'm going to draw a bit of tendril there. Okay, then a bit here also. Okay, 
And then uh, we're going to use, uh, I'm using a stylus and pick up the white color on the tip of the stylus and just going to do a, create a dot at the middle and then a dot at the middle. Okay, like that. So you have okay, like so. Okay, I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna complete it. Okay, and then put a, a bit of dot in the middle. We haven't finished exactly this part whereby we have to put the purple color on in the middle. Okay. We put a bit of purple to shade that part. Okay, and then we're going to use a liner brush to create the vein. And then we're going to use a script liner brush. Using the avocado, we're going to do the tendrils. Cannot be too watery, yeah? Okay. So we have it like that. And then we use the tip of the stylus to create the three dots there in the middle. Okay, so I have two blinking goblets. Okay. And uh, what uh, we are doing is actually uh, for a hantaran Okay, whereby uh, I will put uh, some uh, chocolates and for hantaran, yeah. So it looks good if you have about um, half a dozen of this, uh, then it will look uh, great, okay. So after you have done like this, if you want it to be more permanent, it would be better that you will bake it in the oven, a normal oven at 150 uh, 50 degrees Celsius for 15 or 20 minutes, okay? And uh, that would make it more permanent and you can wash it after that. All right, so this is the beauty of using gloss enamel on a, on a glass surface like this. Okay, so um, in future, we will show you a bit more on this a particular goblets and once I finish all the series of this I will show it to you.